Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans. This, my friends, is the ultimate four-way battery test between the Pokephone F1, the Redmi Note 7, the Realme 2 Pro, and the Oppo F9 Jade Green. Now, what we're interested in this matchup is how the Redmi Note 7 fares alongside its fellow mid-range peeps. And in this video, we will witness a full-blown battery drain test. I will be playing all of these apps right here for a period of time and see how much battery is drained for each phone, draining them all to zero. After that, we'll be charging these guys from zero to a hundred. And I will be using an original QC 3.0 charger for the Redmi Note 7, something that hasn't been done yet. And I'm here to show you what that looks like. This is going to be quite the matchup, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the battery test. By the way, my channel is focusing heavily into bang for the buck smartphones just like this, and even do comparisons. So if you're into that, just subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. And without further ado, let the battle begin. No. And let's start.
And there you have it my friends, the Redmi Note 7 is the most power efficient phone among the four. And now for the main event, the charge test. I got here two original Xiaomi QC 3.0 chargers, one for the Pocophone F1 and one for the Redmi Note 7, which is great. This is the first time I'm gonna use a QC 3.0 charger on the Redmi Note 7. And right here we have the stock charger for the Realme 2 Pro. This is 10 watts by the way, and a 20 watt VOOC flash charger for the Oppo F9, okay. Oppo F9, Realme 2 Pro, Redmi Note 7, and the Pocophone F1. Both micro USB and both USB Type-C. And let's start. And we're now at 11 minutes. Both the Redmi Note 7 and the Pocophone F1 at 14%. The Realme 2 Pro at 11%. The Oppo F9 is leading the way with 22%. That is just how special VOOC flash charger is. Okay, since QC 3.0 will not fast charge when the display is on, I need to turn them off. All right, 32 minutes. Let us check the battery percentage. And oh wow, that is quite surprising. The Pocophone F1 is now at 38%. The Redmi Note 7 is left behind with only 32%. 31% on the Realme 2 Pro, almost the same as the Redmi Note 7. And the Oppo F9 already at 64%. And as you can see, it's charging fast. I'm not sure why it's charging very slow right here with QC 3.0 charging. Okay, it's almost one hour. Let's see the battery percentages. Oh, 95% on the Oppo F9, 59% on the Realme 2 Pro, 58% on the Redmi Note 7, and 66% on the Pocophone F1. Of course, this has a smaller battery compared to the Redmi Note 7. That's why it's charging much faster. But it's still a mystery why this is charging slower than the Pocophone F1, which pretty much has the same charging technology. I feel that this is currently a bug, something that a new update will surely fix. But yes, look at the Oppo F9 in just one hour already at 96%. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Go get the Oppo F9 Jade Green, available in your nearest Oppo concept store nationwide. And at 1 hour and 10 minutes, the Oppo F9 is already at 100%. This is quite a surprise for the Oppo F9. The first time I unboxed it, it fully charged at 1 hour and 15 minutes. And as you've seen right here, it went all the way up to 100% at 1 hour and 10 minutes. It looks like the optimization level on the Oppo F9 is at its peak. The charging on the Oppo F9 is just so unbelievably good. Well, that is something the Redmi Note 7 really needs right now. Xiaomi needs to push out some more updates for the Redmi Note 7 because right now, this is considered a bug. And here are the numbers at 1 hour and 30 minutes and at 2 hours. And at 2 hours and 9 minutes, the Pocophone F1 has charged to 100%. Alright, so the Redmi Note 7 and the Realme 2 Pro fully charged to 100% at 2 hours and 21 minutes. I really think that they need to push out some updates for the Redmi Note 7. It's not as fast as the Pocophone F1. It should be as fast as the Pocophone F1 since they're both QC 3.0 enabled devices with the same battery capacities. And yes, if you watched my unboxing video, I fully charged the Redmi Note 7 at under 2 hours and 12 minutes. Right now it's 2 hours and 21 minutes and that kind of slowed down the fast charging process. Process. So it doesn't fast charge when the display is on. That is the problem with Qualcomm's quick charge technology. So yeah, the Redmi Note 7 still got a long way to go. I kind of feel that it was very rushed out of production. I've seen some performance issues and even camera issues, especially in video. And now with the battery, because currently it is not in its full potential. And that is pretty much it for this comparison for these four phones. Let me know which phone you want to compare with the Redmi Note 7 next. Guys, I hope you drop me a like. This took a lot of hours to film. I really do appreciate you guys liking the video and thank you so much for watching all throughout. I hope the Redmi Note 7 Pro comes out soon as I will be comparing that with the Redmi Note 7. That is going to be so epic. So please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss that. This is Vince Bigger from Tech Beans and I'll see you on the next video.